So, botany. In theory, it's a great gameplay system. You fly through distant worlds, you examine the landscape, you pick different trees and flowers and plants, and you bring them back in the laboratory to research them. So let's see if the game allows you to fulfill that fantasy. Now, the game does allow you to fulfill that fantasy, however, the, um... I'm just going to use nice words. I think it's it's a bit too modest in what it does. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you need to find plants. Okay, so let's say you you go to a moon or planet. You need to go at least to a moon or planet where it says flora and at least has something that doesn't say zero, zero. And four out of four means that it has total planet, has four different plant types you can scan. And they might be scattered among different biomes. So, for example, one biome might have three out of four plants, Another biome might have also three out of four plants, but not all the same plants. Okay, so first thing you have to do is you have to find yourself a plant you can pick. On this one over here. Now, if you have your, your surveying skill at, at zero level, this one over here, then you need to get within 10 meters to, to scan a plant. If you have if you have it leveled, I think it got leveled to level four, then I can spot things at about fifty meters. And if you scan it, uh, or just look at it in the scanner. If it's green like this, that means it's completely scanned. And to reach the completely scanned level, you have to scan a, the same plant type seven or eight times, depending on how skilled you are in a particular skill. Okay, it says over here, one hundred percent scanned. Resource nutrient biomes, genetics, reproduction complex, output production allowed, required inputs water. Now the interesting information pieces here are the resource, the biomes where I can find it, and outpost production where I can grow it in a greenhouse, and the required inputs to grow it. Now reproduction and genetics, I think it has no gameplay purpose. That's just it's just decoration for the law. Okay, so as, as you walk up to a plant, and this one is already scanned, so I can't scan it anymore with the and if you get really close, you can pick it. Now I already picked this plant earlier today, so I have to find another one. To get close, you can go harvest, but you can also harvest in the scanning mode if you get really close to it. See here it says harvest. Okay, now I harvested nutrient leaf. Let's take a look at what we harvested. Go to resources, and you scroll down to nutrient leaf. Now when you pick a component, the game usually tells you the, the first term, that's that's the actual resource type. The second one, I think, again, is just for law purposes, where it is from. Because in crafting recipes, only the first word matters. So if you have sedative from hide or from a root, there's no gameplay difference in, in the crafting recipe. So the next step in the botany gameplay is you have to go to a research station and research different recipes so you can make different medical items or food items with it. And a lot of plant items are also used in, in outpost crafting systems. So ideally you put yourself a research area into your ship. And this one is a research, I think, a scientific research lab and you have well, the research station over here and you got the pharmacology lab. Okay, so. The research itself is very simple in this game. It, it's just uh, filling up a crafting recipe, and the only the only new thing is that if you fill up a crafting recipe, sometimes the game rolls a dice and automatically fills other resources that you don't have. Okay, that, that's it. Okay, so you can research different cra uh, medical items, and you can also research different outpost pieces. And what's interesting for botany is the horticulture one. See horticulture one, horticulture two. And it requires outpost engineering and botany skills. That's for growing your own plants. Then you go to the pharmaceutical lab. And then here you can craft different medical items. You can see here the items that you need and the value you get out of it. So the primary purpose here is you can make the medical items for yourself. 
which doesn't currently have much gameplay value because the affliction system is it's it's so watered down that most afflictions don't really matter. They go away and down. So you almost never have a use for it. And the other purpose is you can actually sell it to other NPCs. But the next purpose of it is you can build yourself a greenhouse. Now on this planet, Alpha and Rusty 2, I built myself a botanic laboratory. That's just an outpost I named like that. Okay, sandstone. And I put myself a botany lab in the desert over here because I thought it was really nice, because I like the scenery, and I would like to have this large structure in the background. Now what I did not know is that the plants you can grow highly depends on the planet you place them on, or the greenhouse, what Alpos is placed on, and it, as it happens on a desert planet, it's, it's extremely limited. Okay, so after you place the greenhouse, the first thing you have to do is I think you have to assign crew to the outpost. And this you can do by putting these, um, by this uh, crew station, which is an office table somewhere on the outpost. And it actually doesn't have to be inside breathable areas. You can put it outside over here, and the NPC can still use it. And then the NPC will occasionally go into the greenhouse to perform animations. I think there's a bug in the game with NPCs. If you place a table outside, the game will ignore that it has to actually put on a spacesuit and will just walk around without a spacesuit. However, you never have to actually directly assign NPC to the greenhouse. Okay, so how to start the greenhouse? That's a bit confusing at first. So the first thing you have to do is you go to the station, control console, and you get the list of the different plants you can grow. And I think that's... Um, I think it's a defect in the way it's designed, because notice it just says the resource you get out of it. It doesn't actually tell you the plant which it is. Okay, so I got nutrient selected, and the plant actually changes in-house. So, so the model in here actually gets swapped out by depending which resource you pick. However, the plant itself never matters in the crafting process. So you never actually pick a plant or pot plant version. You just get the nutrients out of it, if it's a nutrient plant. Okay, so... The nutrient or the, the re end result will always come out in the greenhouse, which is over here. However, for the greenhouse to work, you need to feed it with water. And for that to work, you need to place a liquid storage tank. Okay, so you open the outpost system. I switch with tab to the modify mode. Once you've placed the, uh, the water thing, it does actually not have to be within close proximity. Just put it there so it looks nicer. And then you right click on the water tank look at the greenhouse and press E. It says already connected for me, and it means it's connected. What then happens is, as the the game slowly feeds water into it, it produces the item which comes out over here. Then later you can connect it to other storage containers, so you can put it in your ship more easily. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And yeah, that, that's basically all there is to botany. I think it would be nice if they would have added a, a bit more depth to the gameplay. So that you, for example, could pick out individual plants in the botany lab and then use a knife or some laser or some put some chemicals on it to, to modify it or something in the growth. Because it currently feels like a it feels like a hack on some system of Fallout 4 or Skyrim even. Because currently it feels like it's a hack of a Fallout 4 or Skyrim system. 